Hey guys, Son of Beast here. Welcome back to another Stanley Cup Playoffs of the Conference Finals. This part of the next matchup is a rematch to take for Bruins and the Canes. This is tough because right now we know the last game was an overtime win for the Boston Bruins to take over from Carolina Hurricanes. They want to stumble them down, but they have no idea if the Hurricanes are going to get it back. Well, we're going to cross our fingers and let's hope that this will change. Now standing by, for your next commentary for Game 4, I will have is Greg Ferraro and Jay Cebulski here for the next part of the game. This is the next one to go in between the faceoffs of the first seeds of Atlantic and Metropolitan. And standing by, we have, we have is Kelly and a center ice right down on the long side. I'll be back with the post-game show and later coming up will be the Celtics and the Cavaliers at 7.30 tonight. So this is where we are going to see the next doubleheader of the game on Friday coverage. Let's get started folks. Enjoy the game and let's find out what win comes in. Penalty on Boston, two minutes for holding. Izzy Kane's power! Two minute penalty for Boston. Grab one chair, two minutes for holding. Top of the penalty, 19.40 to go in the first period. Brady Kane's power play! Right 
Two minutes for slashing. Two minutes for Carolina. Stephon Nose. Two minutes for slashing. Time about the 11 46 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. For Boone's power play. Attack. 
The Bruins have it from their own end. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Thank <laughs> you. 
Boston goal. His sixth goal in the playoffs. Scored by number 92, Tomas Sosa. His first assist here by Brandon Fall. And by number 33, Brian Hathaway. Time to go 18 15 remaining in the first period. 26 shots on goal for Boston. And 23 shots on goal for Carolina. With, with Thomas Nosak's goal, 145 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. One minute remaining in the first period of the game. Boston goal, his first goal in the playoffs, scored by number 25, Brennan Carl. And by number 23, David Preggy. Top of the goal, 18.57 remaining in the first period. 29 shots on goal for Boston. And 20 and 23 shots on goal for Carolina. For Brennan Carl, score with 103 remaining in the first period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Shooters trying to make it more difficult. 
difficult for the goalies by getting traffic in front of the net. He had to find it, and he did to make that save. There's a shot. Two minutes for slashing. Two minute penalty for Carolina. Stefan Norse. Two minute penalty for slashing. Five minute penalty, 1156 58 remaining in the second period of the playoffs. For the Boston Power Play. Oh, they couldn't connect on the play. The Bruins take it along the way. 
It's going to be a tag point right here. They got to get the goal for Carolina. here by number 73, Jasper Fats, and by number 23, number 48, Kurt Kotkanami. Time to go, 15.02 remaining in the second period. 40, 24, 5, shots on goal for Carolina, and, Bo and Boston, 34 shots on goal. The two of Terrible and shot for a goal, 4, 32 remaining in the second period of the Stanley Cup Playoffs.
Kane score! His second goal of the playoffs, scored by number 48, Jordan Martina. His first assist to by number 24, Seth Cottersfield. Tom to go 16-52 remaining in the second period. 28 shots on goal for Carolina. And 35 shots on goal for Boston. For Jordan Martin, a short score with only 3 22 remaining in a third, second period in the Stanley Cup playoffs. One minute remaining in the second period of the game. Hey guys, we have a next game here. Me from Fork here, as right now we have the next one coming in. The Celtics are at home to play against the Cavaliers for the next matchup here for this part of Game 5. That will be happening at 7 p.m. tonight, so make sure you catch on to hit on where you come from. We are going to see what's going to happen here in between for those two. In the range, it will be tough though to keep an eye on the target line. It's going to be a very tight matchup, and we're about to be seeing of what is going on. They're going to keep it going and on. It might be in our way to keep it right for the line. And you may never know, there may be a win or go home for Cleveland Cavs. Will they get a comeback here? Well, we'll find out later tonight. And now, this may be a tough one. If they win, they're moving on to the finals. Now back to you, Jay. I'll see you all again later after Rocky. Still near the stages of this period. 
Two minutes for Sashi. Two minutes for Boston. We are slashing on Brendan Carlo, number 23. Time to penalty, 14-15 remaining in the third period of the game. And ready, Kane's power play! Thank you. 
Uh, he's always looking at the next way through the trap. Tries a tricky move there, but can't complete. Kind of lost control for a second there, but regains possession.
One minute remaining in the third period of game. This was a tough matchup that everyone was seeing from the Atlantic Division, Division and the Metropolitan Division. But this wasn't the really the tough that nobody has ever seen how it does happen. Even when especially it does come out in the Florida chain that the Carolina have already lost against as the Florida Pampers, they really didn't get really well enough. And the, and the wild card team definitely knocked them down. They definitely took out the number one seed and their wild card team seemingly to look to get a win because they never had a Stanley Cup winner before. And they wanted to get that one really badly to get a one. Because that was tough though. Nobody has ever seen getting a win from a best play of this, of this marking zone. That ability might have been taking it over. But it may not be that hard enough when they are trying to keep it out. If you've watched the, the last part of this game here of the of the Celtics and the Cavs you've already would notice that it was a tough one that did happen but if you're watching now with the Boston and Miami well Miami's moving on because they really are tough though the AC team wants to win the whole thing from decade this one is from from the year 10 years of a decade that definitely did win in 20, 2013 that was the last one that they had already done now they're looking to win again, it's the same thing without LeBron James and the other player, of course, with, uh, with Dwayne Wade, 
and hopefully he'll be at the game to see them play with Jimmy Butler and her team. Well, I'm not surprised at what happened here. My top team has been eliminated. Well, that's a shame. I can't even believe it. That was a tough one, but I lost a bracket. If you get your wrong brackets, you did it wrong. If you choose one of the seeds that want to win the whole thing, you never know what state are you in. You really are a tough one at that moment. And if you're in this part of the state, you would have the right choice that you have definitely going to win the whole thing. And you're going to crown it for as the, for as the pick em bracket champion. That's the part of it that you can't just get rid of anybody. Now, let's find out what happens here. Overtime begins now for the second and fourth, for game four of the first day. Well, first game might be the tough one to be here, but let's find out. Here we go. Boston goal. His second goal in the playoffs of the overtime winner, scored by number 29, David Quickie. Time to go for the overtime. 342 remaining in the overtime period of game four. tell you this one here, but let's have a look at the three star players. David Krejci was the overtime winner. Nothing you can't just tell because he wants to win it all. Then the second star was Linus Omar with 35 saves. That turned out to be the biggest stop that he had. And your first star goes to Frederick Anderson. Well, he may got a number one star, star but unfortunately, they team never win in their home game two in a row. So now their series of the run is 3-1. Here's how they deal with the total statistics. 76 over 
37. Boston, wow. They're shooting crazy. 28 hits over Carolina, 24. 830, excuse me, 838 and 5 and 15 at the time on attack for Boston. 92% over 90 for Carolina. 34 over 19. It looks like that Boston might be showing it off. Then four minute penalty kills. No power play goals and power play minutes. Yep, nobody got a power play goal. It stayed natural. So with that being said, that ends up with the first game here for the double header of the night of the conference finals. Now their lead is a 3-1 series. That means there could be a solution if the Boston Bruins are going to win to get into the finals and a win or go home for Carolina Hurricanes. Oh, probability in between. You'll have to stick around here next time. That will be happening here on Tuesday's game to keep your eyes peeled on the run. Anyway, thanks for joining with us. And you're ready for the Celtics and the Cavs. Maybe the Celtics might win it again. And do for another one, just like the Bruins did. We'll keep an eye on that one here shortly. And it's coming up next, right after this. We'll catch you on the other side of the air once we get a break. And then 7 p.m. starts the game. See you folks later. Peace out, everyone, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs of the conference finals on EA Sports Style. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.